Hey there, welcome to a patch review of Motorsport Manager. They have just released two things, a Challenge Pack DLC and a Devils in the Detail free update patch for the game. So I'm going to walk through this with you. I know you can read if you own the game, but let me show you how I got here first. If you, if you own the game, go to your library, and under Motorsport Manager, you just right-click here. It doesn't show for some reason. You can go View News. That's on a list that you can't see. Alternatively, you can just come over here and click News. And that's what's going to kick it over to this page for you. So let's take a look at it. Currently, game is 66% off. 66% off. All right. I'm going to pause this action here. Eleven eighty nine. Normally thirty five dollars U S dollars. So I'm not sure what that translates to where you're at. Totally thinks think it's worth it. If you're not sure, go back and watch some of my series, which I'm going to have a card popping up over, yeah, that direction for you. But eleven eighty nine is a bargain. You can buy all the DLCs for fifteen ninety eight. That's going to get you the challenge pack, the GT series, and the two free ones. I I use the GT series one. I really like it. If you're not sure, maybe just buy Motorsport Manager, Manager as is for 11.89. Try it out. It's going to be more of the like the F1 racing. And then if you really like that, then you kick over the GT series or wait for another Steam sale, something like that. So let's go back. Let's look at the at the changes here. Some of them quite massive actually. Um, and I have tested this out. I just recorded uh, season two, episode nine. So I've got several episodes in the can for you. Uh, I think the latest one's like five on, on here. So we may have like three more that you'll have to watch under the old patch before the new one kicks in. But I want to test some of this stuff. So first off, realistic AI game preference. If enabled, AI teams make better decisions on when to pit during races. They adapt to weather conditions better. That's big. Like, of course you want better AI. It makes the game more challenging. Run wides and corner cutting. So cars can now run wide and cut corners in all tracks. And the likelihood of that is increased by the pressure they're on from nearby cars. I literally just saw this in season two, episode nine, the first turn, you know, it's usually like sometimes in corners, you go like two or three wide and like somebody had to go, like they just kept going straight because there was, wasn't any room for them. So I just changed in the game. It immediately applied to my, to my save, which was kind of cool to see. Weight stripping. I'm going to show you this here in just a minute after we read through the patch notes. Teams can now remove reliability from parts to increase their performance before practice qualifying in a race. That's huge. So, especially in my save right now, if you've been watching, you kind of know we, we can't afford a, a second level factory and we kind of have all good parts or average parts. There's not a big benefit in building another part because we don't have like the telemetry center or whatever else is required to build that awesome part. So for the last four races of the year, I'm going to be focusing on reliability and performance of the parts we have. So you can get your reliability up to a hundred percent and it allows you to take off like 5% of reliability on a part to give like a 15 point performance boost. So that provides a lot of different strategies you can use in your saves now to where if you've got a part that's awesome, drop the reliability a little bit, see if you can make that help you win some races or qualify better or whatever it is. So I tested that out. We'll show you that here in just a second. Here's a lap chart screen in the data center provides detailed information for every lap of the race. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Expanded camera preference. Um, you can essentially zoom in more on race day. I did that in, in season two, episode nine, you'll have to watch it then. But I always thought like you, the, the two camera options originally, I, I guess if you go to the maximum and minimum was like really, really high. And then, kind of sort of high and this kind of gets you a little bit closer it's not like you're not like in the car by any means but it's definitely a little bit closer you can kind of see what's happening when they're racing against someone closely this is huge here you can save and load setups for each track so if you if you race on a, a certain setup and it goes well and you plan on racing there next season you could save that setup and use it on the next track as my understanding of it i haven't saved one because i didn't have one to load because this just rolled out but i, I think that's how that's going to work um when leaving a race weekend, you can force an injured driver to sit out, which is kind of important, um, and they won't get mad about it, I guess. Um, they recover faster, blah, blah, blah. The rest of this isn't too crazy. And again, if you've got it, you can take a look at, at the notes yourself. One thing I want to point out, tire wear and heating are no longer banded into thirds. Apparently, there was like, in the heating, for example, like really hot, kind of that middle range where it was kind of whitish, and then the blue cold. Now it's into quarters. It says a direct reading, but it's it shows on the chart as quarters. So like the very top quarter is hot and that's too hot, which is going to then lead to here. 
If they left overheating for too long, they cause blistering, dropping their wear at a faster rate. And if they're underheated for too long, they cause graining, which drops the performance of the car. So it's definitely encouraging to keep it in that those two middle ranges um, to where they're warm enough that they they, they don't do those things. Um, yet personality traits are added, blah, blah, blah. Car crashes have been rebalanced by a more even spread of crashes throughout the race. That's something I kind of notice intuitively. It's like usually in, in my races, the first the first and usually only crashes of the first four to six laps. I didn't have one in, in my next episode, spoiler, but it definitely shows you like, Hey, they've spread it out. So maybe you'll get one in lap 16. Like who knows? Um, rather than just at the beginning part of the race. So it's fixing some bugs, get new radio message and all that kind of stuff. I think the big stuff is besides the tire wear and heating is right here. And that's the stuff we went over. So now let's go take a look at some of those changes in the game. Let me show you this one part because one of the changes in the patch is you can load the setup from a from like you could save your setup for the race, which is important. Like if you race several seasons in a row, you could start off with, hey, I think they like this setup. Let's let's start here rather than starting from a blank slate. So it looks like we can load a setup. Obviously, we don't have one saved. So that's a good sign that that's actually implemented in the game. All right, and here's the weight stripping. So you can get your performance gain here. You can, okay, what, okay. Okay, see, so it, it, it allows you to use this on a slider. Wow, you could do all kinds of crazy stuff here. That's so crazy. So you can drop, okay, you get 15 performance gains, say, in the rear wing by dropping the reliability 5%. Take another 5, another 10% that comes off of the engine's reliability and the brakes, at least in this case. And gives you 45 per, 45 gained. So there is a slider here where you can you can do all kinds of craziness. So that is really interesting. I think I might actually take like the wing in, in my in my save is a stock part. So surely it doesn't need to be fixed, right? Interesting. That can provide lots of different strategies. So we'll have to take a look at that and that's how part stripping works. Of course, there's another way I just noticed that you can adjust the weight stripping is to choose a specific part. So like I could drop this down and as you see, it goes down, it gives you different performance boosts. So that's another way that you can kind of adjust rather than just doing like, give me just reliability in general going down and it randomly selects parts for you. I'm sure there's a, re a reason it's selecting certain parts, but it gives you the option of picking the part you want the performance to come from and the reliability out of so that's another interesting way you can kind of do some weight stripping on your car all right here's another thing from the patch i'm doing practice in my next my, my next race here so you've got it's now in one two three quarters the heating of the tires is in quarters not in thirds so that gives you an idea i'm a little bit more zoomed in i believe maybe it's just the race camera it feels more zoomed in but it's been a couple days since i played this so you know that's the thing um gives it shows their modifiers now on the screen here so that's cool. And uh, again, some more changes from the patch. So something that I've noticed when I was looking for, you know, ways to implement the change from the patch under game settings, auto optimize at lap temperatures. You can set it to on. I'd never noticed that. So I'm not saying it wasn't there, but now I'm going to go do qualifying with that on. I don't have to worry about clicking it. Clutch. Thank you. Thank you, Sega. Thank you. All right, so that wraps up our patch review. If you've enjoyed this, smash a like on it. Um, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I'll try and do stuff like this when patches are released or when like Football Manager has a, an announcement of a, the release date for FM18. We did that. We've got the when the demo or the, the beta, I should say, for FM18 comes out, I'll do something like that. But again, if you don't own the game, right now it's 66% off. It says through the end of the Belgian GP weekend, which I'm assuming is this weekend. Today is August 22nd. So take a look at that. 1189 US dollars is a steal for the game. Really enjoying it, especially if you like Football Manager. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.